Have you ever tried a blue smoky eye look that doesn't look messy? Today I'm gonna show you how to create this soft blue smoky eye makeup look. Hi gorgeous, thank you for watching this video. Blue eyeshadows are scary and if not blended well, they can give you raccoon eyes that nobody likes. For this eye look, I'm gonna be using the Eye Size Baby Eyeshadow Palette by Essence. It is $3.99, very affordable and comes with a little mirror as well. I'm starting off with this light grey eyeshadow and I'm buffing this in the crease. I'm using a big fluffy brush to cover more area and this shade is gonna be the base for the blue eyeshadows. And then I'm taking this blue shade with a tapered blending brush. I'm gonna blend this in the outer crease closer to the eyelid. I'm building up gradually the intensity of this eyeshadow so I can be more precise and blend the color really well. Moving on to this shimmery shade that I'm picking up with a flat brush, I'm pressing this on the two thirds of the eyelid, on the other eyelid we're gonna be applying a different shade in a while. I'm trying to build up the intensity of this shade as well and this way I'm not gonna have any fallouts. With blue eyeshadows it is important to not have a lot of fallouts on the under eye area, otherwise you're gonna get the raccoon eyes that we were talking before. Up next I'm taking the darkest shimmery shade with the same brush and this time I'm going over the outer eyelid. This is gonna define the shape of the eyes more and shimmery eyeshadows are usually very easy to blend on the eyes. Also a small tip, if you ever have a hard time blending your matte eyeshadows, just add a shimmery eyeshadow on top of it and it's gonna look super smooth. For the lower eye I'm taking this grey shiny shade and I'm pressing this in the inner part. I'm using a small pointed brush and I'm trying to stay closer to the lashes. If you want to make your eyes rounder and bigger, you can create a thicker line with this shade. To define the lower part of the eye, I'm picking up this beautiful blue matte shade and I'm buffing this out in the outer corner. I'm also blending towards the crease color and that gives an elevated look to the eyes. Let's continue with this shiny shade and with the same brush I'm highlighting the inner corner of the eyes. Every smoky eye look needs dark and highlighting shades to be completed. With a small round brush I'm taking the grey shade and I'm going over the edges of the lower part of the eye. I always do that with shades that are not very close to my own skin tone. If you have any fallouts you can always dust them away with a little bit of loose powder. I'm using a fan brush because with this one I'm not going to add more powder to my skin and the under eye area is not gonna look cakey and powdery. I'm going back to this blue shade and I'm adding some more to intensify the eye look. I felt like the blue color wasn't so noticeable in the crease and as you can see I'm not blending towards the brow bone so I can leave that space clean and lighter. If you blend the blue shade very close to the brows it's gonna give a dark and not so natural effect to the eyes. And then I'm taking the light grey shade to smooth out the edges of the blue color in the crease area. After that I'm applying a blue eye pencil in the waterline. This color blends really nicely with the rest of the eyeshadows on the eyes. For this eye look I wanted to create a more natural eyeliner look so I have created a thinner line and also a smaller wing. You can make your eyeliner as strong as you want and with eyeliner you never really know what's gonna happen and you can see that on my eyelid. I'm using a mascara and I'm not going to apply false lashes because I like how wearable this eye look is without them. Like always you can find all the products in the description box below. To 
bronze my face i'm taking the benefit hula glow it is a very blendable product and gives a soft warm color to the skin For blush, I'm using this light shade by Benefit. It has a peachy color that goes so well with blue eyeshadows. To combine your eye makeup and face makeup even better, you can always apply a little bit of blush in the crease. If you do that, I'm sure people are going to compliment you that your makeup looks amazing, 100%. And to highlight the face, I'm taking one of my favorites by Essence. You can find all the brushes that I'm using on your screen. I'm trying to edit them in the video so the tutorial can be easy for you to follow. I'm taking the same face brush and without additional product, I'm blending all the face powders together with circular motions. On the lips, I'm applying a natural shade by NYX Cosmetics. It is one of my faves as well. If you try this eye look, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your creations. You can watch next this video here. If you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!